Thanks for taking the time to understand the new features of Microsoft Dynamics Serum 2015. My name is Josh Wells and during this training we will cover the new custom help feature. Previous to Microsoft Dynamics Serum 2015, the help content provided in Microsoft Dynamics CRM has been static content created and maintained by the Microsoft Dynamics CRM product team. Due to the level of customizations available in Microsoft Dynamics CRM, the content within the help sections ended up not being very helpful if a system customizer modified Microsoft Dynamics CRM. With the release of Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2015, a system customizer can now create content that is customized for their users. With Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2015, a system customizer can now override the out-of-the-box help links provided with the base deployment of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Since Microsoft Dynamics CRM can be so customized, it is necessary for system customizers to be able to provide helpful documentation to users directly in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Again, the behavior is to override the out-of-the-box functionality. It does not allow you to modify the existing help pages. System customizers have the ability to create a global custom help URL, which will redirect all help requests to that global help section. Using the global custom help URL is an option and not mandatory to take advantage of the custom help functionality. If a system customizer does not use the global custom help URL, they will need to set custom help pages at a per entity level. This allows a system customizer the ability to provide custom help without overriding all the predefined Microsoft Dynamics CRM help. With the ability to set it at the entity level, it allows a system customizer to only update the help content for entities they have customized and keep the out of the box help content for areas within Microsoft Dynamics CRM that have not been customized. The new custom help functionality allows a system customizer to append parameters to the help URL. When accessing help from the entity views, the parameters that come through are user language code as well as entity name. When accessing help from forms or hierarchy charts, the user language code and entity name parameters are passed as well as entry point and form ID. These two additional parameters are only passed with forms and hierarchy charts. When accessing help from elsewhere in the system, it will append the user language code to the global help URL. This allows a developer to write a custom help page for specific entities and localize it to the appropriate user language. When combining parameters with a global custom help URL, it simplifies deployment of the help content in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. For instance, with the ability of passing the entity name, a developer can avoid having to update each entity to a specific help URL as they can take the parameter and show the proper help content for that entity. The custom help for the most part can be provided as a part of a solution as shown in this image, the custom help content has been created as a web resource in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Those web resources are included in the solution as well as the client or account entity which has the custom help URL defined. If the global help URL is defined, that can also be exported out during the export solution wizard during the export system settings dialog. Custom help only has a couple of limitations here. The default help functionality in Microsoft Dynamics CRM will open the help content in a new browser window. However, custom help URLs will open based on the browser settings. So the default behavior for Internet Explorer is to open new pages into a new tab. So opening the custom help does so in a new tab rather than, than a new window. Custom help is available for the Microsoft Office Outlook for Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2015 Outlook Client, also known as the Outlook Client, while in offline or online mode. However, custom help is not supported with the 2013 version of the Outlook client. Serum for Tablets does not support the custom help functionality as well. The help will still render the current help document for CRM for Tablet client. Now that we've discussed how custom help works, let's take a look at this in Microsoft Dynamics Serum 2015. Now that we're in Microsoft Dynamics Serum 2015, let's take a look at how we configure custom help. I'm going to go ahead and go into Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Settings. I'm going to go ahead and go into Settings, Administration, and I'm going to go ahead and go into System Settings. Now that I have System Settings open, you'll notice that I'm on the General tab. If I scroll down, you'll notice that I have a section that says Set Custom Help URL. Notice that the system customizer has three options to basically configure for custom help. 
Their first one is a, one of them is basically to enable custom help by setting the use custom help for customizable entities to yes. You'll notice that the global custom help URL and append parameters to URL both became active when doing so. I'm going to go ahead and define the global custom help URL to Bing. And this is just to do so for the demo purposes to take a look at what, what it actually does. I'm also going to go ahead and set append parameters to URL, set that to yes. Global custom help URL and append parameters to URL are not required in order to use custom help functionality. Now that those have been defined, I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. The one thing I need to make sure and do is that uh, I need to go ahead and refresh my window because of the help functionality is already cached. So I'll go ahead and refresh and I'll go ahead and click on the help icon. As you see it's taken me to Bing and in if I look at the address you can see that a parameter is being passed of user LCID or user language code ID which is 1033. This is happening because I access CRM outside of the form, view, or hierarchy chart. Let's take a look what happens if I access help from a view. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the account view by going to Microsoft Dynamics CRM and sales. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to sales, accounts, and from accounts I'm within the account view. So in the top right corner, I'm going to go ahead and click on the help icon again. And here you can see, again, it took me to Bing, and it's appended type name, which is account, or the entity name, and again, the user language code. Let's take a look at what the parameters are being passed when I access help from within a form. So I've drilled within an account record. Again, I'm going to go to the top right corner and go to the help. Again, it's taken me to Bing. And then this time, you can actually see that we have a couple other parameters. Entry point is equal to form. So here we've accessed help from a form. And it's also given us a form ID. This is great to allow the system customizer to modify the behavior based on a user's experience. For instance, a salesperson may have a different form than a service per person. So when, they, when a salesperson goes on the account form, it may look different and have a different feel than that of a service person going on to the account form. So now that we've taken a look at how this looks at, the, at a system level, let's go and modify it at an entity level. To do so, I'm actually going to create a solution by going to Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Settings. I'm going to go to Settings and Solutions. And I'm going to go ahead and click on New. I could also have done this directly through the, the default solution, but what I want to do is try to create a custom help package. So I'm going to go ahead and specify this as custom help. Okay, now that, that's filled out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, save it. And I'm going to go ahead and start creating my custom help. To do so, I'm going to do th that as web resources. So I've clicked on web resources, and I'm going to click on new. The first thing I'm going to do is going to go ahead and upload my company logo. The type is going to be a image format. I'm going to go ahead and browse this. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to use this logo within my help uh, HTML page. So now that the, the logo has been uploaded, I'm going to go ahead and create a new web resource. And this time it's going to be a, of uh, type HTML. Now that I've got it defined as HTML, I'm going to go ahead and go into the text editor. As you can see here, I'm using the very basic editor within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. I could use some, some more rich HTML editor or create my own HTML, but I'm just going to go ahead for time's sake and just do so within the CRM editor. I'm going to go ahead and define my web resource of my logo. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm a huge fan of pirates. So my company logo is naturally a pirate logo. I'm also going to go ahead and define my custom page here. Go ahead and save that. And now I'm going to go ahead and make sure I copy this URL. I'm going to use that as my custom help URL for the account entity. So I'm going to go into entities. I'm going to add an existing entity. I'm going to add the account entity. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into 
the account entity itself. If I scroll down, there will be a section called help. Here I can set this use custom help. Right now, this help URL is not editable. So I check this use custom help, and now I can set the custom help URL at an entity level. So I'll go ahead and put this here. Uh, even though this is defined as a main page HTML, maybe I can change that to account help or something like that. But this is just to illustrate a, the what the help looks like. So I'll go ahead and save. And since I made a custom or entity change, I need to also publish those changes. Now that the changes have been published, I'll go ahead and go back to the account. The first thing I need to do is make sure I refresh my browser window so that the new help functionality is taken in effect. So to do that, I'll go back to Microsoft Dynamics CRM and sales. Go to sales and accounts. And next, I'm going to go ahead and click on the help icon. As you can see, it's taking me to a new tab and it's now showing me my custom help page for the account entity. Again, thank you for taking the time to learn about the new custom help functionality in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2015. Please take some time and complete the custom help lab to familiarize yourself with this feature in more detail.